everybody welcome back to this channel thank you for watching uh, thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing this video amen praise god uh, we're going to take up this time uh, the message of the word of god uh, our scripture will be in the book of philippians philippians chapter 4 verse 19 where it says and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. The Lord God will just bless his word. Let us pray first. Most gracious and loving Father, we thank you so much, Father God, for this word that we are hearing right now. We ask for your wisdom and for your knowledge, Lord, that we can understand, we can grasp uh, the blessings of your word. Thank you, Father God, for... Being, being in control in our midst right now. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen and amen. Friends and beloved brethren in the Lord, in this verse, this is the pronouncement or a prayer of Paul, a prayer of blessings of Paul to the Philippian believers. Amen. Uh, Paul, in his missionary journey, uh, the Philippi was one of his wrote in his missionary journey. Amen. Before uh, uh, coming, before getting into this verse, let's consider first the preceding verses. Amen. Especially in verse 15 down to verse 18, wherein it says there that these Philippian believers were um, supporting the ministry of God in the life of Paul. In Paul's missionary journey, here comes the support of these Philippian believers, not only in prayers, but also in finances. Amen. So we can also we can also um, consider what kind of people they are. Amen. Beloved, they are not rich people. In fact, the scripture says that uh, they gave, they gave, um, they supported the ministry of Paul. They gave, they gave uh, finances in the life of Paul out of their poverty. Amen. So meaning to say, they were not rich people, but in spite of that, they were able to be part of the ministry of God in the life of Paul. Amen. It says here, Paul said, and my God, amen. He make this declaration and, he's, and he is um, claiming, possessing God. Because, you know, God the Father, the maker, the creator of heaven and earth, was the one who commissioned him, was the one who called him, who called him and commissioned him to preach the gospel. Amen. It was God. So he said in this verse, For my God shall supply. Amen. In this context, in this verse, the thing that uh, Paul is mentioning, that God, my, for my God shall supply, this is in terms of finances. Amen. So, and my God shall supply all your needs not just part of, of of their needs amen not just some or few but all of their needs all of the needs of the philippian believers amen that is the promise of god amen and as a man of god a prophet called by god amen so once he pronounced and he declared he prayed for this blessing, for sure. It will happen to these Philippian believers. Amen. When we talk about needs, amen, this is quite different to, to the word wants, amen. When we say needs, it speaks to our basic needs in life, amen. That, uh, like for instance, shelter. We need house for us to live 
We need clothing for us to wear. We need food for us to, to be sustained in life. Amen. So these are the basic needs. Amen. And when it comes to wants, it's, it, it's, it is different because, for example, you will say, I want that one. But it's just up there. So if you have something, you have money to buy it, then you can get it. But if there is none, still, it's okay for you. Amen. So here in this verse, Paul said, For my God shall supply all your needs. Amen. It's either it's your basic needs, it's either your secondary needs, or whatever you want. Amen. Take note, beloved, in this word. Although Paul is say, was saying all of your needs, but there is always, as a child of God, you have to know the character of the Father. Amen. Not just you want anything and then you have the confidence that all, all these things, although this verse is, we have to be balanced with regards to the Word of God. Of course, God will grant the things that uh, we need. Amen. Once it gives benefit to our bodies, to our lives. But if it it, it will not give any benefit, but instead, it will destroy and ruin our body. Amen. We cannot expect that God will give it to us. Amen. So, considering in this verse, when Paul said, For my God shall supply all your needs. Needs, your basic needs, <clears throat> your needs that is in line of what the will of God is. Amen. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. As what I have said earlier, that these Philippian believers were not wealthy people. They are poor. That when they give finances to Paul out of their poverty. So we cannot say that uh, we are poor. We cannot uh, give or we cannot uh, contribute to the work of the Lord because we are poor, we cannot give to God. No, that is not the reason. Amen. No matter what you have is little or big amount or little amount. Amen. The most important thing is the motive of your heart. It is the motive of your heart that matters. Amen. Like, like these uh, Philippian believers, we don't know how much they give. Amen. But since they give it out of their poverty, so it is not, we cannot say that it is uh, a big amount of money. Amen. But their heart, their heart is so open enough to bless and to be part of the ministry of God in the life of Paul. Amen. I will give you another example. In the Old Testament, in the book of First Kings, chapter 17, 17, verses 15 to 18. In these verses, it talks about the prophet Elijah and the widow in Saripat. One day the Lord said, You go to Saripat, for there is a we there is a widow there I prepared to provide for you. Amen. And so the prophet went. To Saripat. And when he arrived there, he saw this widow that God told him. Gathering sticks. Amen. And so the prophet Elijah said, Please give me a cup of water because I am thirsty. And he and the following verse, he again said. Please, give me a morsel of bread from your hand. With honesty, the widow said, As long as the Lord lives, <clears throat> she said, What 
I have is just a little, a little amount of flour and a little amount of oil. And that is why I am gathering these sticks because I will have to bake this small amount of flour and oil so that I and my son will eat and then after that we will die. Amen. So desperate words. Amen. And what what did the, the prophet Elijah respond? What did he respond? He responded to the statement of this widow. As we read in his verses, he insisted. He said to this widow, you have to cook you have to bake whatever you have and then give it to me. And then after that, you will, bake, you will get some of that and bake for you and your son. Amen. What do you think, beloved, the reaction of the widow? According to this verse, he never, she never murmured, she never complained, but simply she obeyed. And take notice, beloved, when she obeyed, amen, when she obeyed, she cooked it, whatever, the very least that she had, and then first he gave it to the man of God. And you know what? Her little flour never used up. Her little oil never ran dry. Until the Lord sent forth rain in the earth. Amen. So meaning to say, beloved friends, the, the oil and the flour that the woman, the widow had, though it is very small, it never consumed. Amen. But the multiplication took place. Amen. Imagine until until the Lord sent forth rain. It's not just about one week or one month. Amen. But it it, it, it took about, uh, it takes about many months before the rain came. I think three months. Amen. And so, what happened? Miracles take took place. Amen. So, What happened first is the giving. It, is, it, it, it was not an accident that God sent forth his prophet in Saripat to this widow. Amen. Because God knows that this widow was so in great um, hope, hopeless. No more hope. Imagine what she said. I will I will bake this one, this little flour and little oil. And me and my son will eat and then after that we will die. It's so terrible enough. Amen. So, as what Paul said in our scripture, For my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The supply, the divine supply from the great supplier in heaven. You will only experience the supply and you can have it. Once you take first the first, once you have that first move to open up your heart, to open up your hands to bless the work of the Lord, His servants, and those people that are in you. Amen. We can just imagine, beloved. Don't expect to receive if you have not given. If you did not give, don't expect that you will also receive. Don't expect for a harvest if you have not planted seeds. That is the principle of God. Amen. That is his standard, his principle. Amen. 
So here comes this verse. And sometimes um, we sometimes we pick up verses that will really fit into our lives without taking notice the whole context, the whole chapter, amen. Just like this one. For sure, uh, when people are reading their Bibles and then and that they are in it, they will immediately say and quote this verse, For my God shall supply all your needs, all my needs, according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Not knowing that before this verse 19, something happened in the life of the Philippian believers. Paul will never release the blessings, the pronouncement, the declaration of these Philippian believers if they have done nothing. Amen. So this is what I'm going to leave to you, friends and my beloved brethren in the Lord. You cannot receive the supply, the supply from heaven if you have not do the first move to care for the work of the Lord, for His servants, and for those who are in it. Amen. That is God's standard to each and every one that will receive the blessing. Amen. So this is the word of God for all of us. And I hope and I believe that you will remember all this. Amen. Or my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. It is really true. It is amen and amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this short message of your word that remind us, Lord God, that we cannot we cannot only say that for my God shall supply all my needs without without doing anything, Lord God. We cannot expect to reap a harvest if we have not planted the seed. We cannot expect to receive if we have not give. If we have not the action to give first. Amen. Yes, Father God, thank you, Lord, for blessing each and everyone that are watching right now. You stretch forth your hands, bless them, cover them with the precious blood. Bless their lives, their families their businesses, and above all, bless their spiritual life. So that, Lord, they will be blessed and continually be blessed as we are still in this earth. Lord, I entrust to you these precious lives into your mighty hands. And all these things we ask in the most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen and amen. Friends and beloved brethren in the Lord, um, if you are still new in this channel, don't forget to share. Amen. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and hit the notif notification bell for you to be always updated with our next video. Again, thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye.